So Nicholas Gates reporting with the unopened letter of President Barack Obama promoting cultural diversity month, of course, which has not been opened for two months right now. I call on uh, Representative Ackberry, a modern Memphis curse, in conjunction with educators. Um, a Cordova High School has always been against me. I want to hear a response from these, you know, educators against me as a young Republican, and of course, Rep. Ackberry, since she strongly believes in the principles and values she, you know, she proclaims, and I strongly believe in myself as a Republican. I want to hear a response from Rep. Ackberry and these educators at Cordova High School that seem to try to um, drum up conspiracies against me. At any rate, we had a great successful day here in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, everybody was in accord with one another. Memphis is a great diverse city. I love Memphis. May God bless Memphis and God bless the state of Tennessee. But um, WREG News Channel 3 reporter, let's try to get a response from Rep. Ackberry. Um, you know, this is very biblical. This is very, um, you know, modern um, you know, modern day scholarship. So let's see what her statement will be regarding me calling her a modern day curse. Of course, it rained today. And I did say I did film a rainbow here in Memphis, Tennessee, promoting diversity. You know, I am the corporate market here in Memphis, Tennessee. But at any rate, Rep. Ackberry, you know, I really like you as a person, but I don't think um, you're ready to challenge Nicholas, the governor, for the United States Congress 2014, nor do I think those educators are either. So leave Nicholas Pegues, Princess Beatrix, elected American boyfriend, alone. Thank you, and may God save the queen. You're in over your head. Thank you.